the nurse from Buffalo, New York, who has been charged with diverting pain medications, narcotics from cancer patients. Hi, All Nurses community. This is Melissa Mills, one of the writers around All Nurses, and I am bringing a quick video to you about a recent story that I wrote on Kelsey Mulvey, who is the nurse from Buffalo, New York, who has been charged with diverting medications, pain medications, narcotics from cancer patients. So wanted to just talk a little bit about, there's been some discussion, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about the article and give a little bit more detail. So the statistic about one in 10 nurses that become addicted, if you look that up, you can find it. It also is representative of the general population. So one in 10 people become addicted, unfortunately, to narcotics and other medications. So I think nurses, because we are around it a lot more, especially those who work in units. I can remember when I was in the ICU and the pediatric intensive care unit, and then of course in hospice, I was in people's homes and had direct access to a lot of powerful painkillers and other medications. I have worked with some nurses who have been caught diverting and as a manager I have suspected and had to go through the process of you know trying to decide if there was an issue. I think this is a, a really tough conversation for us as nurses because we don't want to think that ourselves or our coworkers could possibly become addicted to something that we handle, but we also have to be realistic of the culture that we live in and the times that we live in and how so many medications are available. I think it's also important that, you know, when it comes to diversion, it's not always that that nurse is the one taking the medication, but unfortunately, some healthcare workers have been caught stealing so that they could turn around and sell the medications. That was the case with one coworker that I worked with. Would have never thought that she was somebody who would have stolen medications and really when the investigation was going on really felt like there was no way that she could have been doing it. Unfortunately, she was and she was doing it because she needed the money. So I think it's just important that we all think about these statistics, think about what this looks like for those people who are sharing on the All Nurses Forum and on the article and letting us know what their struggles have been. Thank you. Thank you for bringing a face and, and a realism to, to the topic because there's a lot of people out there who struggle. I have lost loved ones, family members to addiction. They weren't nurses, but it's still a human life. And it's a good topic for us to just discuss and talk about and bring more awareness to. So keep your comments coming. Let us know your comments either here below in the comments, or you can also um, put a comment on the article. You can also read more about this if you're just hearing about the Kelsey Mulvey case, definitely take a look on the All Nurses website and look for the article and read that. Do a little research of your own, stay informed, and let us know what you think. Hope to see everyone again soon.